Lord would have his foundation. Unleash your inner artist. Hey guys, so today I'm going to show you how to make eyeshadows that actually look good on every single skin tone. So you open up an eyeliner in Sims 4 Studio and the reason we're using an eyeliner and not an eyeshadow is because EA's eyeshadows tend to show up on the sim at a lower opacity, making them appear ashy and just done. gross looking. So this is why we're using an eyeliner. Then you okay. open up your uh, photo editing software. I'm using Photoshop. You don't need to use Photoshop. Any will do, but I just have Photoshop. I've opened okay. up the Sims skin texture in my Photoshop so I can see where to apply the eyeshadow. And then I just create a new layer. I'll link down the, the texture I'm using in the description. And if you still don't know what eyeshadow you want to make, you can always just Google some eyeshadow looks to get some inspiration. Now the fun part begins. After you've created your new layer, you can literally just draw on the eyeshadow that you want your sims to have. So now it's time to unleash, unleash your inner, your inner artist. artist. So pigmented! Play around with the layer styles and opacity uh, to kind of create uh, the eyeshadow look you're going for. You can just be creative with this step, it really doesn't matter. It's up to you what you want to create and how you're gonna create it. What I've done here is really basic. I just laid down a flat color, blown out the edges and just deepened up the outer corner and then put an inner corner highlight and that's it. Um, you can get way more creative with this, uh, it's up to you. After I was kind of happy with the result, I just uh, copied the layer and flipped it and just put it on the other side so it's perfectly mirrored and we have symmetry. Then you just save your file uh, without the background uh, skin texture that we used. Um, so I'm saving it as a PNG and I do recommend if you're a beginner to save it as a PNG because it's just way easier and you don't need to edit the alpha layer. Now it's time to import it into Sims 4 Studio and change the category from eyeliner to eyeshadow and also play with the tags, allow it for masculine sims, allow it for aliens. I'm really out here being Fenty Beauty for the sim community because I am so tired of eyeshadows not being inclusive to all sims including aliens and sims of color. Anyways, now we just uh, test the uh, shadow and we make sure, repeat after me, we make sure that it looks good on all skin tones, okay? After you've tested your eyeshadow, it's time to create more swatches and see uh, things that you can approve on. So what I do is I just change up the hue and saturation to create different colors and if I want to create a new style, I just create it on a new layer. So right here what I'm doing, this is kind of advanced, I am actually drawing on little tiny cute as clouds on my eyeshadow. Yes, you can do designs on your eyeshadow, you can make your eyeshadow as detailed as you want or as simple as you want. It's really up to you, be as creative as you can be, it's really just fun and just be the beauty guru that you always wanted to be. So after you've done designing your eyeshadow, you just open it up in Sims 4 Studio as, again, you import it as a new swatch uh, and you just test it in game again and uh, test as much as you can just to see if you've done any mistakes. <sighs> also while I'm waiting for my game to load, I tend to watch a lot of uh, old Disney music videos on YouTube and I've developed a really unhealthy relationship with Troy Bolton <coughs> and I need to be stopped. <coughs> mm. um, okay, so we're back into the game and we're testing the eyeshadow and sometimes uh, Light or pastel eyeshadow colors may wash out a uh, darker skin tone. So what you need to do is go back into Sims 4 Studio and change the method in Warehouse and change the number from 0 to 1, 2, 3, or 4. Just play around with it and see what works best for your eyeshadow. Hey, Ella. Girl, I live for you. Is this Dior? Oh, it is not Dior, girl. Uh, with this particular eyeshadow, it was a bit tricky to make it work. Uh, but um, I just needed to adjust the composition method in Warehouse for every single swatch just because I am using very light pastel colors and I want the pigmentation to be there but also I want it to look good and not be ashy or overly saturated on darker complexion so I just had to play around with the composition method and um, setting it at 2 is usually uh, the safest thing you can do but again, play around with it and see what works for your shadow. You have those days where like nothing works out. That's today. It took me a few attempts to kind of get it right, but I did get it right eventually. And now it's time for a narcissistic montage.
Thank you so much for making it this far, and uh, you can download this eyeshadow on my Tumblr, link in the description. Okay, goodbye, take care.